You know, when you think of what teachers do, teachers are, are the only people on this planet whose job it is to change the human brain every single day. In fact, my favorite expression I use is that teachers are brain changers. Well, if teachers are brain changers, then it makes sense that the more they know about how the brain works, the more successful they are going to be at their job, which is to change that brain, to have it learn something new. Now, what's interesting is that over the last 20 years, thanks to the advent of, of brain scans and, and incredible research in neuroscience, we've learned more and more about how this marvelous thing, this three-pound mass called the human brain, learns. And that knowledge can be of some great use to educators because that's what they do. They change the brain. The more they understand about it, the more successful they can be at that. So it made sense to, for people like me and others who are interested in this field to take a look at the neuroscience, because my background isn't science, take a look at the neuroscience and say, some of this does have applications to what teachers do in schools and classrooms. And so I began to collect some of that information and uh, a number of years ago did the first edition of How the Brain Learns in an effort to show teachers ways in which they can be more understanding about what's going on inside that head of their students and to select strategies that are more likely to result in successful learning.